Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page dot HTML. Open with the Firefox. We got this output. I have written a small code in this first page dot HTML. Let me right click on that page once again. Open with the Notepad to see the source code. As we are learning text formatting tags, we have learned few tags and we asked the question ourselves that is it possible to nest one tag inside another tag? Yes, it is possible to nest one tag inside another tag that we have seen in the previous tutorial. Also, we have understood how do we open some tag and how do we close some tag. Where do we open some tag? Where do we close some tag? When we will be nesting. When we will be nesting the tag, we need to follow some order. Also, we have seen that in the previous tutorial. And we understood if we nest one tag inside another tag, how those tags affect your HTML content. And you can see that the B tag, U tag and the I tag made this high HTML exclamation mark content to be displayed as the bold, italic as well as underlined. In this tutorial, we are going to understand few more text formatting tags. Let's understand. So what I do in this tutorial means I am going to take the help of I click on the start all programs. I am going to select accessories. Then I am going to select Microsoft Wordpad. Here we have the Wordpad. Let me write some content. According to chemistry, formula for water molecule is H2O full stop. We all know that the formula for water molecule is H2O. But when you open chemistry books, you don't find H2O written something like this. It will be a little bit different, right? Let's see how we can perform some formatting. I'm going to copy this content and paste it in the notepad. First, I put a break so that I can find the content on the next line. I paste this, save this and say refresh. You can see that according to chemistry formula for water molecule is H2O full stop for display. But in the chemistry book, you find two written little bit down. Its base is shifted down. How do we perform that? In WordPad, what I need to do is I need to select the text and tell to the WordPad that I need to move this content down. So how do we do that? First, I select this two and click on this button. There is a button called as subscript. If I click on that, the two got moved down. This is how you find H2O written in the chemistry book. So, same operation. How do we perform that in our web page? How do I display this two written little bit down in our web page? All I need is I need to use a tag called as sub tag. Sub tag is also known as subscript tag. So I should tell to the browser where to start subscripting just before the two. I am going to write the opening sub tag SUB. Now this sub tag indicates starting of subscript. Subscript tag is a pair tag. So I need to close it. Where do I close? After the two, I am going to close this sub tag. So, subscript tag I have closed. Let me save by pressing Ctrl S or I can go to file and say save. Go to the browser and refresh. You can see that two got moved little down. Only two got moved little down. This is called as subscript. Now, how it has, it is, it got possible? We told to the browser by writing the subscript tag. And we wrote two inside the subscript tag. So, only two got moved down. Let's take one more example. Here we are. Enter. According to math, a plus b whole square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab full stop. Now, I am going to copy this content from here. Minimize. And I put a break so that I can find the content on the next line. And I paste it. I save it. And refresh. You can see that I have here according to math a plus b 
2 equal to a2 plus b2 plus 2ab. But in mathematics book, you don't find the formula like this, right? The 2 will be moved little up, this 2 will be moved little up, this 2 will be moved little up. So how do we perform that operation in the word pair? I am going to select the 2 and tell to the word pair, this 2 should get the superscripted. So here we have a button called as superscript. If I click on that, the 2 is moved little up. Its base is moved up. So I select this 2 and tell to the word pair that this selection should be superscripted. Click on this again, I select this tool and click on this. So this is how we format the content according to our requirement using the word pack. Now same thing, how do we do that in the web pages? To perform that operation, we need to use superscript tag. So I need to tell to the browser that from here to here you need to superscript. So there is a tag called as soup. So I am going to Right, the opening superscript tag S U P just before the two. Then after this two, I am going to close the superscript tag because the superscript tag is a paired tag. Now I go to file, save, go to browser, and refresh. You can see that two got displayed a little bit up. This is known as superscript. Let's come to notepad. Now I am going to tell to the browser this two should be superscript. How do I do that? I am going to write just before the 2 SUP and after the 2 I close the SUP and save this by pressing 5, save and reset. You can see that 2 got moved up. Remember that you should tell to browser properly where to start superscripting, where to end superscripting. The, the starting will be indicated by opening tag and the ending will be indicated by the closing tag. Just before this 2, I write SUP and after this 2, I am going to close the superscript tag and I go to file, save and refresh. You can see that 2 got moved and we got the proper result. A plus B whole square equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. This is how you find in mathematics books. So, thanks to Microsoft that it has created different editing software like WordPad, Microsoft Word. These are all the formatting software for desktop documents. We know that Microsoft Word is very popular software for editing the desktop document. If we need to format our web pages, then we are going to use the HTML. HTML is a formatting language. Now Notepad is a text editor. We use that to tell to the browser how it has to format it, uh, our web pages by writing different tags. So in this tutorial, we have understood how do we use the sub tag, how do we use the super tag, how do we subscript something, how do we superscript something. So for this tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. In the next tutorial, we understand some other formatting tags. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.